everybody, welcome to Emily Kate Made This Vlogmas Edition Day 20. Wearing my beautiful finished garment. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna stop talking about this, like ever. I'll never, until I'm dead, I'll never stop talking about it. It's so beautiful. And I am pushed against the window to try and get natural light. So the rest of the room is dark. Hopefully this um, is showing up. Just thought I would update you on what I'm doing. Because a knitter never sleeps, she never stops. So, the headband that I mentioned, I have started this last night, not this morning, last night. I did a few rows. Which way around is it? I think it's this way around. You can't really see it. But there is a headband emerging because my ears were so cold, even with all my berets. The problem is that I have a scarf and then the beret sits and I have to tie my hair up because otherwise it just turns into one massive dreadlock. And then with the scarf and the hair, the hat just goes up and then my ears get cold. But it's actually warmer now, so don't even need it. <laughs> but I'm sure at some point soon it will get cold again. And then I will have a headband. The yarn I'm using, this one is left over from my Humla Bee shawl. That's uh, John Arben Devonia Amber Blaze. And the white, I only have this much left. This is leftovers from my husband's mushroom colour work. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> the colour work on my husband's sweater it was this. I'm hoping, and I think, I should be alright. I've just got about three more rows, I think, of colour work, and then some more ribbing. So I'm hoping by the end of this vlog, this will be finished. So that is my update. I haven't really done anything else to tell you about. I'm hoping to talk to my mum later today, and I was hoping to do some baking, but I forgot to buy the butter. So, that's problematic. <laughs> So I think I will be waiting until my husband goes to the shops and gets some butter and then maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow I will do some more baking. But yeah, that's everything for now. Yesterday my buttons came off my coat when it was raining and really cold and I didn't find them on the streets so these are literally the only buttons that I have. And oh, it's kind of like we're Ridiculous. <laughs> the colour's not really coming out right. It's like a navy it's like navy blue colour. But that's a bit intense. But I don't have any other option and I can't uh, I can't um get any other buttons, so it looks like I'm gonna have to have a crazy coat. <laughs> The infamous lining. <laughs> Let's ignore it. So I haven't actually got anything new to add because I just talked to my mum during the day and haven't really done much else to be honest. So this will be a very short video <laughs> like yesterday's. I did finish the headband so I've either inserted footage or I'm going to insert footage. I'm blocking it to try and stretch it a little bit because it came out too small. Didn't check gauge yet, but I have a note stuck on the pattern that says if I use 4.5mm needles I will get 20 stitches and that was the gauge of the pattern. So don't know why it doesn't fit, maybe I just have a really big head. Didn't check the measurements. <laughs> I also didn't say the name of the pattern and I've put the pattern away but hopefully I've linked it below or I've put it here but it, at the time I got it, it was a free pattern I think it was released maybe for a couple of days uh, for free as a pre-Christmas run up and then at some point it, it became a paid for pattern so it's not free anymore but it's uh, very cute, very festive hopefully after blocking it will stretch enough to go over my ears because it's colour work so when you stretch it beyond its happy place 
you see all the floats that you caught. So that's not fun, but I will check it after blocking. I've tried to pull it out a bit and see if it is a success. I hope so. And I, yeah, I already told you which yarn I used, so I don't need to tell you that. So that is everything, my friends. I am contemplating what to what to cast on. I do have my sock, second sock, so I think I should probably probably cast that on for the gingerbread man. But I also have a different sock that I want to cast on. So yeah, we'll see after I've edited and uploaded this if I cast on a new sock, like a new pair, or if, if I cast on the second sock for the gingerbread man. And also, I showed my mum when I was on the phone, my husband's sweater and the dramas, and she said, I love it, I'll take it. <laughs> so, now the jury's out. Now the question is, do I knit the sleeves and just give it to her? But I already ripped out the cast on edge for an hour. Did I mention an hour of my life is gone? Before I discovered that you can't rip a top down jumper out. So, can you re knit on a cast on edge that you have just undone? Is that possible? I've got the yarn still attached. It's just. Yeah. Can you re knit it on? Or do I have to rip out the whole thing? Oh, the sweater. <laughs> but she said if he doesn't want it, or if it really won't work to fix it all together, then she'll take it. So I already was thinking of casting him on a different sweater that I think I mentioned the Ridari, Ridari sweater, the Icelandic one. He's just laughing in the background. I'll wait for him to stop. Okay. I already thought about starting a new one for him. The only problem is I don't have the right yarn for that. So I'd have to buy a new yarn and I didn't say it out loud but I've been trying not to buy any more yarn. Because the minute I say you can't do that, I want to do it. So I didn't say it, I just mentally thought it and haven't bought any new yarn. <sighs> but now, <laughs> now I'm going to have to buy new yarn if I make that. Because I definitely don't have a man size sweater version of any of my yarns. I have four cakes of one of my Plutolokis, but I don't think held double that would make a man's sweater. Pretty sure that would only make like my size. So yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah, I could make another one of these <laughs> for him. So that's everything for today. I will finish this up and um, edit and upload it now, then get some knitting in. And then, then we have tomorrow. I think I keep trying to make more mince pies, but I haven't made the pastry and I have to make the pastry in advance. I didn't have any butter, so now I have the butter. So maybe tomorrow <laughs> I'll manage to get mince pies. We'll see. Okay. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.